Turning now to medical news, some medical scans can increase the risk of dementia, according to a new study from the National Health Research Institute. Radiography is a common type of medical scan. It's often combined with an imaging technique called contrast media. A contrast agent is added to the patient's blood, helping doctors find the causes of disease. But that agent can increase dementia risks. Doctors are now advising patients to avoid non-essential scans. Radiography is an important kind of medical exam. It can reveal causes of disease that are hard to detect. For example, when a patient has a stroke, they might do a CT scan of the brain and they need to take some images for a while to see if there are any new changes in the brain and to monitor the stroke and see if there's anything going on there. So that means that there may be a need to do a CT scan of the same part of the brain two or three times in quick succession. Official figures show that 43,000 people get CT scans in Taiwan every year. Some 262,000 people get MRI scans and about 300 people use contrast media, although evidence shows contrast media may be harmful to the kidneys. Now, research from the National Health Research Institutes and Taichung Veterans Hospital shows contrast media can increase the risk of dementia. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia, alongside vascular dementia. Now, in principle, vascular dementia is more likely to be impacted by the kinds of toxic drugs that affect the blood vessels. Therefore, we can see in this study that the risks of vascular dementia are more than doubled by contrast media. The study used big data analysis to do a cross-comparison of 1.46 million people who had a contrast media procedure in the last 10 years and the same number of people who did not. Those who'd used contrast media had a 109% higher risk of developing dementia within 10 years. While if Alzheimer's cases were excluded, then the risk of developing vascular dementia specifically was 366% higher. Blood vessels are affected by contrast media. They cause direct damage and contraction of the blood vessels. That's the case in the kidneys and also in the brain. Now, long-term damage could be caused by effects from the blood vessel contraction when the contrast agent is perfused, as well as the rash in the blood vessels itself. Doctors say that non-essential scans should be reduced and proper protection measures taken before and after any scan occurs. Patients should drink plenty of water and use the bathroom regularly. To reduce the length of time, the contrast media remains in their body. 